The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the multi-leader command to make what we call a spline leader. And a spline leader instead of having straight lines like a lot of leaders have will have curved lines. So let's just get into it. I'm in the home tab of AutoCAD and I've already drawn a rectangle on the screen. Uh, what I want to do is switch over to my annotate tab. I'm going to click on that and inside the annotate tab you're going to see that there is a panel called leaders. I'm going to select on my multi-leader multi icon and just come down here and pick at the midpoint of this line and pick again and you can see what type of leader is being created here. I'm just going to type box for my text in here and then pick close text editor. Now what I just put onto my drawing is the standard leader uh, that is the one that is the default leader so let's look at that if I go back up here to my leader control or to my leader panel and I pick on this down arrow it takes me right into my multi-leader style manager you can see that standard is highlighted so let's go see what the settings are for that if I pick on modify over here you'll see that there are three tabs and each tab can tr contains some information about the standard leader first thing I see that it's a closed filled arrowhead that's what I'm getting right here the length of the arrowhead or the size of the arrowhead is 0.18 inches the break size is 0.125 that's the little gap that we have in here the type of arrow or the type of leader is called a straight leader that is that it's going to come at a straight line even though it's at an angle and it's going to come at a straight line a horizontal line over here we call this the landing and then it will have text in it so let's look at leader structure in order to place the standard leader it requires two points the first point that you pick is where the end of the arrowhead goes the second point you pick is where your landing begins right here we could change that to more if we wanted to but for most mechanical uh, leaders we'll just keep that at two we may change that for our architectural leader style though if you look at landing settings the landing this guy right here has a length of 0.36 inches and uh, which is fine and we could change that we can make a point 25 if we want to I'm just showing you what the standard settings are and if we click on content what we wind up with out here in the way of text is called multi-text or m-text and that which you edit just like you would any multi-text that you place on a drawing the text height is defaulting to 0.18 inches and uh, looks like we've got a few settings like justification middle of the top line and if you have a right attachment which would is this one over here a left attachment would be if it were pointing the opposite direction both of those would attach at the middle of the top line of text okay like I was saying those are the settings for your standard so let's just pick cancel on that <coughs> excuse me and go back to the multi-leader uh, manager box here and let's make a new custom one so we were starting with standard so we're gonna pick on new and what AutoCAD does, it takes the settings associated with the standard style and it makes a new style name, named Copy of Standard. But I'm going to make my new style name Arc Arrow because it's going to be an architectural style leader with an arrow on it. I can name it whatever I want. Pick Continue. And again, I can come up here and change the size of my uh, arrow. You know, I might want that to be four inches depending on the scale of my drawing. I'm just going to keep it at 0.18 for now and my break size at 0.125. But just keep in mind, you may have to scale that up or down depending on what you need for your arrow. The type of arrow, though, I mean the type of leader, instead of straight, I'm going to create a spline leader. You can see that that creates a curve just by picking on spline. I'm going to go to leader structure and for my maximum leader points, instead of two, I'm going to go to three. And let's see if there's anything else. You, you'll notice that I've lost the ability to set a landing in here because with a spline leader, you, you won't have a landing. All right, so the last thing I want to go to is pick on the content button. Now I can keep this as multi line text, or I'm sorry, yeah, M text, multi line text here, but, uh, or multi text rather. And uh, my text style, I can change if I have different text styles I can choose that my text height again this might need to be four inches or six inches depending on on the drawing that we're doing I still have that middle of top line for my attachments so I believe that's all I need so I'm just gonna pick OK and there's my arc arrow new style showing right here and I'm gonna pick set current and then close alright so with that set current the next time I use the multi leader tool when I pick on this let's say I snap to the end point of this line there was my first pick. Now remember this is going to be three picks. I'm going to pick again 
and then I'm going to pick again and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can see at that point it's asking me to put some text in so I'm going to call this one arc arrow and then close the text editor alright so that's what a, a spline an architectural spline leader with an arrow head on the end but I want to show you something about editing it if editing it if you pick on it you'll see these blue grips and you can just pick on a grip and hold down your pick button and you can you can reposition this however you like you can even pick and move your arrow to some some other point on the drawing so uh, this is really versatile for architectural style drawing now sometimes you'll want uh, a leader that instead of having an arrow on the end it may have a circle on the end because you're referring to just to a surface of an object like uh, uh, some part or maybe even the fascia of, a, of an architectural elevation that you might see on an architectural elevation so let's go make a new multi-leader style that would do that so we're going to go to leaders again pick on this down arrow I'm going to pick new and this time it's going to start with my settings for the arc arrow but I'm going to call this one arc dot alright now I'm going to select continue and uh, the change that I need to make this one, I'm going to go back to my leader format for my symbol instead of a closed filled arrowhead I'm just going to pick a dot like right here you've got dot small dot blank you've got all kinds of these guys I'm just going to pick on dot you can see what I'm getting right there is just going to be a, a filled in circle I can edit its style if I want to leader structure is still with three pick points for my spline I, I still can't do anything with a landing because it's the spline style I'm going to pick on content I'm going to stay at multi uh, multi-text and let's see what else we've got text height I can change down here so I'm going to pick OK alright so I'm going to take arc dot <clears throat> set it current pick close and I'm going to come up here and select the multi leader tool let's pick at this endpoint here now that was my first pick here's my second point here's my third pick and at this one I can type arc dot and then close the text editor alright so you can see the difference now I can drag this down onto the surface like I was talking about or I could have selected anyway so this is my standard leader this is my customized arc arrow leader and this is my custom arc dot leader all done use all these are different types of multi leaders